While there are a number of computational models of speech perception currently available, none of these encode lexical tone. This is a significant issue because current models do not account for tonal languages such as Mandarin Chinese, many of which are widely spoken. Lexical tone refers to modulation in the pitch of a speaker's voice during articulation of a syllable, which is used to distinguish different lexical items or words from one another. As an example, here are the four lexical tones in Mandarin Chinese. In the plot are the pitch profiles of each of the four tones. For example, tone 1 has a high and level pitch, while tone 2 starts at the midpoint of a speaker's register and rises. Below each pitch profile, there is an example syllable with an English translation equivalent for each of the four tones. This is what they sound like. Chuang, 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 chuang. In the current study, we attempted to encode lexical tones in TRACE, one of the most prevalent models of speech perception. We are calling this new model TRACE T, with the T reflecting this encoding of lexical tone. Based on recent evidence showing that tones seem to be processed concurrently with the vowels upon which they are carried, we coded Mandarin syllables by alternating tonal and phonemic units. Tones were encoded using two tonal features, pitch height and pitch slope, as we can see in this sample coding scheme. For example, the 3 in T3R refers to the middle of a speaker's register, as pitch height is coded from 1 to 5, while R refers to a rising pitch. To keep things consistent across different syllables, we always made sure there were five phoneme and tone units. This was done by repeating tone-bearing vowels if there were less than five phonemic units. Tone was divided into five intervals, and each interval was associated with a segmental unit. A silent tone unit was added in the first position if necessary. Please note that the alphanumeric symbols used in JTrace are fairly constrained, and so may differ from pinyin symbols in some cases. However, there is always a one-to-one -one correspondence between phoneme and tone units and their representation in trace T. The trace model works by encoding speech units at several levels, including features, phonemes, and words. In the trace T model, we encoded tone units and incorporated these at the same level as phoneme units. In the model, activation of the features associated with phonemes and tones leads to the activation of phoneme and tone units, which then leads to activation of lexical items or syllables. During this process, other lexical items which overlap with targets in phonemes and or tones can also become partially active. In this way, we were able to simulate recent data from human subjects in a visual world paradigm eye tracking study, which looked at how native Mandarin speakers resolve competition between lexical items sharing phonemes and or tones. Here is a simple demonstration of how trace T model works in JTrace simulation. Firstly, we need to load our trace T model, which includes both a phoneme inventory and a lexical file. This can also be done by loading phoneme inventory file and lexicon file separately. Our phoneme inventory not only includes all phonemes for Mandarin, but also tone symbols in which both pitch height and pitch slope are encoded. We use the first six dimensions for encoding phoneme features and the last dimension for both pitch height and pitch slope for tones. Please refer to Shrine Mannings 2016 for details. In the lexicon file, we are including the 27 lexical items that are used for simulating the eye tracking experiment as stated in Shrine Mannings 2016. Here we just use the default values for all the simulation parameters. Once we specify the target word in the input string, we can start the actual simulation. In the left two panels, we can see the model inputs and feature activated. In the right two panels, we can see both phonemes and word activations, and which words are competing with the target word. Finally, in the graphing panel, we can check the response probability curve, and we can see that the target word Chuang wins compared to other words, and the cohort word Chuan and segmental word Chuang have the greatest competition effects.
It is our hope that other researchers will use this model to study Mandarin Chinese spoken word recognition. We also hope it will help inspire models for other tonal languages like Cantonese and Thai, as well as other types of simulation incorporating prosody.